Hello, Business 500D, Business Finance MBA students. This is Professor Hassey. Uh, this is, uh, today's date is Friday, July 29th. It is approximately 10.30 in the morning, Los Angeles time. And I'm finishing up our final video for this summer finance 500D class, part two of our final examination introduction. Uh, one of the... Um, Interesting things about this final examination too is it combines two parts of our of key corporate finance uh, disciplines: the capital budget analysis to, be, to, to per, determine the rate of return and return analysis of an investment in an asset. I have provided you a spreadsheet template to put your work on, and we went over that earlier in the week. And second part is a financial statement analysis of a company that you select in your portfolio to do a financial statement analysis, highlighting chapter three of our textbook. So let's begin that introduction for question number two. First of all, here is our Blackboard site. And again, the examination has been posted. It is due July 31st, Sunday, but you do have uh, an option to get extensions and the last possible date of posting is Tuesday, August 2nd. So please note that Tuesday, August 2nd, you can post until then with no penalties. Uh, just let me know that you'll be posting a little bit later just so I can monitor the files coming in. I have provided you, and as we went over in our first video, a PDF and a Word doc folders or files of the examination, two different formats, but the same same um, written material, and a also a template spreadsheet where you to put all your answers on for the first question of the final examination. All work is, on, is done on that spreadsheet. You save it with your name and post it to this Blackboard file at final examination folder. The second part has it has to do with financial statement analysis, and I have given you a document called financial statement analysis. It's a PDF form with some interesting material that I have pulled out of our textbook to use for this question. Finally, in week number eight is the course evaluation link. Uh, to complete a course evaluation. Again, this is not a mandatory. It's a voluntary thing to give, a, give me and the university your feedback. You click on that link and you're set. Um, again, it's, it has no influence on your grade. It is an anonymous, anonymous evaluation. It means nothing as far as the course is concerned. It just gives me some proper feedback about this course. And I'd appreciate it if you would fill that out. And then the, here's the examination, final examination, first video of earlier this week. So let's take a look at question two. Again, this final examination is highlighting two key components of corporate finance. The capital budget analysis where you have an investment, in this case, in question one, it's $750,000. You are to determine the accounting income and the net project cash flow. And then from that, determine the uh, return analysis using net present value, internal rate of return, profitability index, and payback. We reviewed a sample problem in that regard about a week ago, so please take a look at that review. If you have not, it'll help you with this Kate question. Then we get to question two, where you are to select one company from your portfolio to perform a financial analysis using the available data for two quarters, March 31st, 2022, March 31st, 2021. So two sets of data from two quarters. And you are to select an analysis or an equation from four of the four sections of financial analysis that are talked about in chapter three. And that's what I have given you here. Four sections are profitability, asset management, liquidity, and debt management. You are to select one equation from each one of these four and do that 22 and 23 March 31st quarter analysis of your company. So four equations, four analysis, two subsequent years. All right, so you it's up to you. You select which one you wanna do, find the information on their financial statements and record and 
then you answer the rest of the problem. And the rest of the problem is once you have that data, answer the following questions or interpretations of the data. This is where the exam is important. I'm asking you for your interpretation of the data you have found. A key component of MBA study is not only to spit out data, but also be able to explain and understand what that data tells you. So that's an important thing. Question one, has the firm improved its performance from 21 to 22? Is the firm managed efficiently? In your interpretation of profitability, asset management, liquidity, and debt management, is the firm managed well? Yes or no, and why? As a potential investor, would you consider this stock to purchase? So if you were looking at this as an investor, not a manager, but an investor, would you buy this company stock based on your four analytical information? So that's what you're going to do in this problem. Now, where to find financial statement information of your company? Well, first of all, you guys are MBA students and you should be able to be able to track that down. But again, if you need help, you can go to the company's website, Investor Relations. You can go to the University of Laverne Wilson Library Hoover database to get that information. You can go to Yahoo Finance many ways of tracking down this financial information. And in some cases, the information is already calculated for you. That's a key component of this work is researching and finding the data. And also importantly, tell me where you get the data. I do not want to see the financial statements in your answer. I just want to see the four equations and data. And then I want to see the answers in your interpretation of that data. I do not need to see the financial statements. I have access to all the financial statements. I've already downloaded them. I'm not providing to you because that's your job is to find that information. So you do not need to send me any of the financial information in your, in your analysis. Here's an important part of this question too. The student will identify which ratios in each ratio, class will be selected from the analysis. Each ratio must be presented as part of the case. Ratio analysis shows the two quarters. The financial statements are a source of ratio calculations. Also, the 10K filings. If anyone knows that a 10K, companies have to file quarterly returns of their information, and it's called a 10Q, which is part of the 10K filings. If you want to use, you may use industry standards if you want to do that as part of your interpretation. How does the company do in regards to their industry or their competitors? But I'm just concerned about the company. Comparison should not, should, the primary measurement is relative to the performance of your company over the two periods. You can use charts, graphs to show your work. But the main key concept is to base, to tell me what you think and how the company has performed over two subsequent quarters, file, finding that information. That's what I'm looking at. And the final question of the final examination is to do your final portfolio evaluation as of July 29th. Make sure you update your portfolio for the stock prices of July 29th, the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. How have all these changed since June 10th when we began our course? Has you, have you made money? What's the percent increases? Tell me how it has changed from June 10th to July 22nd. And that's the third question of your final examination. I stand by during the course of this weekend. If you have any specific questions, you can email me, you can text me. If you need a Zoom meeting, I'm available all weekend or you can post to our discussion forum any questions you may have about the material. So capital budget analysis is going to be in a spreadsheet format. The question number two is a financial statement analysis. You write that out. No, you do not have to worry about APA format. Just write out the information and your interpretations of that information. And then question number three is another spreadsheet format showing me your portfolio from June 10th and in the most recent, July 29th, at the close of business today, and how it has changed over that time. Again, I'll be available for any questions or if you're having, if you're stuck finding information. 
Now, one last thing of our course, and I know this has been a, a, a difficult course as far as in the summer is concerned, because we're not meeting in a classroom. We have very limited students, only five in this class, and some are located in, in China. It's been very difficult. It's tough to have uh, sessions with the time difference, and it's tough to, to stay in touch with what's happening. And that is coupled with, I had some family issues, uh, a sick father or and who is still sick in Michigan, and I had to fly back a couple times. All in all, it's been a challenge to get this course, but we've covered all the materials we needed to. I think you're prepared to continue on in your studies in MBA. I will leave this Blackboard folder open until 2024, so you can refer to it. You can refer to our YouTube playlist forever if you need this information for other courses or other research, or even in your own professional careers. And I also urge all of you to, to include me in your network in the future. If you need a letter of recommendation, if you need some information, if you need uh, anything in regards to your academic studies or your career, I'd be more than willing to help you out. One of the reasons why I enjoy being at the University of Laverne is because Laverne in the College of Business promotes faculty engagement and networking with students long after they're in the classroom with them. So please feel free to call on me if you have any questions or concerns about anything, and I'm more than willing to help you in any way I can. So I want to thank you all for a great summer. I hope this has proved some value to you and you got something out of the course. Good luck with your final examination. If you need any additional help, as I said earlier, please feel free to call on me. So this is Professor Hassey with my camera not working very well today. I think I have to get a new camera for my computer, so I apologize. I can't wave goodbye. But be that as it may, have a great rest of the summer and hope to see you or hear from you again down the road. Bye-bye, everybody.